Moose are an iconic species in Vermont, contributing to our economy, identity, and the health of our forests. But climate change is making life increasingly difficult for them, causing two worrisome parasites to target moose with deadly results, brainworm and winter ticks. Brainworm is a parasite commonly found in white-tailed deer. It doesn't affect deer, but it's fatal to moose. Warmer, milder winters have increased deer populations in Vermont, raising infection rates of brainworm among moose. Moose are also being plagued by a parasite known as winter ticks. The ticks have become more prolific as spring and fall weather has warmed. Tens of thousands of ticks can attach to a single moose, causing them to collapse from blood loss and hypothermia after rubbing their insulating hair off in an attempt to rid themselves of the parasite. The ticks spread rapidly in dense moose populations, making a reduction in moose density one possible solution to reduce tick infestations. In response to concerns about the impact of these parasites on moose, the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department initiated a three-year study in 2017. Similar moose studies have been conducted in New Hampshire and Maine, allowing for regional comparison. Biologists placed radio collars on 96 moose in Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, 60 calves and 36 adult females, with 30 more calves expected to be collared in January of 2019. Moose were captured via helicopter by expert wildlife contractors and were collared and released within minutes in order to minimize stress or harm to the animal. The collars allow staff to track the moose's movements remotely and to visit them directly in the field. Field staff have examined collared moose that died during the study to determine cause of death. They've also observed whether female moose are successfully reproducing and how well newborn calves are surviving their first months. Moose calves are most severely affected by tick infestations. During the winters of 2017 and 2018, only roughly half of the 60 radio collared calves survived to their first spring. This is higher than even the 30% mortality that's expected for a healthy moose population with wolves present, despite a lack of wolves in Vermont. The growth of Vermont's moose population is greatly impacted when half the calves die each winter. Nearly all the calves that died showed signs of winter tick infestation or brainworm infection, and all were severely underweight. Field staff have hand-counted winter ticks on the carcasses of some calves and have found up to 58,000 ticks on a single moose calf. Adult cow moose have expectedly fared better so far, with 32 of 36 moose surviving. However, reproductive rates have been lower among Vermont's study moose than in a healthy moose population. In two years of monitoring moose, moose have been averaging far less than one calf born to each cow every year. With healthy moose, this should be over one calf per cow further demonstrating that winter ticks, while not killing many cows, are reducing their ability to reproduce successfully. Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department biologists hope to learn more about how parasites are impacting Vermont's moose herd. By 2020, biologists hope to devise a long-term strategy to reduce the impacts of winter ticks. This may mean lowering the moose's population, as high densities may increase moose's susceptibility to ticks. These moose suffer greatly before dying, so reducing the impacts of winter ticks will also improve animal welfare. In Vermont, initial efforts to reduce moose numbers into balance with the available habitat may have also reduced these tick infestations, but time will tell.